gonna get some bolder shoulders in today. New new split for the new, well, technically it's not a new month yet, but new training month. Cause my split change is like basically monthly. That's kind of how I work out. Or I can just keep it the same, but I'll deload and then work my way back up for like bench or I can just take a light week to let my body recover if I need to or whatever. But basically it's like, I, I kind of track it monthly. So new split, now that we're kind of entering a new month of training, I've been doing basically the bro split. The only thing that's not gonna be bro split about it is shoulder day, which is today. I'm probably gonna be doing some floor press. That way I can get some bench work in. So I wanna get some sort of bench press variation in twice a week, but everything else is once a week. So it'll be floor press and delts, and then everything else is just bro split. So it'll be like Sunday, chest day, Monday, back day, Tuesday, leg day, Wednesday, shoulders, floor press and shoulders. It's not actually Wednesday today, but this is just an example. Thursday, arms, and then a rest day. There'll probably be a rest day somewhere in there. And then after arm day, a rest day. So I'll get two rest days a week. We'll try this out, a different approach. I've been thinking if I fail to PR on bench again after this month, I haven't even planned out what I'm gonna bench on what day and all that yet. I'll figure that out in a couple days when it's you know chest day again and I'm benching. But if I don't PR on bench, I've been trying to hit four. I tried 415. For some reason, I was confident coming off of being sick, and I failed 415. Last time, I felt good. Went for 410. Couldn't even hit 410. So I've been unable to break that 405 PR, which I hit. It was the week of Thanksgiving. This is like that weekend, Thanksgiving weekend. I hit 405, I haven't been able to PR since, so it's been like two months, I think. November, December, January. It's been like two months, it'll be closer to three by the time I max out again. So hopefully I can hit it three months. So that's that's a long time to go without a PR. You wanna be constantly PRing, constantly improving on whatever you're trying to improve. Because you know, if you if you aren't constantly improving, then you're falling behind. So I don't want to fall behind. I want to be improving. I want to go get going in the right direction, and stay going in that right direction. But anyways, when it comes to shoulders, I don't hit the front delt. I gotta do a lot of side delt, a lot of rear delt. It'll probably be about a six exercise workout. Most likely three for the side, three for the rear. Of course, your rear delt. You can do a uh, dumbbell fly, so you can do it just bending over, chest supported. So I'll probably pick one variation of that. You could also do a cable crossover, whether it's single arm or two arms at a time on the cables. What else is there? Face pulls. Whatever variation of face pull you like, you can hit face pulls. That's basically it for rear delts. And side delts, it's pretty much just a side lateral raise, you can do it with a dumbbell, a cable. You can do one arm at a time, two arms at a time. Uh, I could do front raises with my palms facing down. If they're facing forward, you can actually feel the front delt. You can feel it moving with my palm facing like this. But my palm facing this way, if you kind of come out to the side a little bit and kind of like this, this rounded kind of range of motion, you feel it all in the side delt and you can feel it in that rear delt dragging down. So if I do do that variation, you can do either cable, uh, dumbbell, you can do cable single arm, cable both arms at the same time with the, the straight bar. So I could do that for one of my side delt exercises because it does actually target that side delt really good. If you wanna you know, figure out what exercises are doing what and how you can move, you can just touch your muscle, move your arm. You can do that for pretty much any body part. If you wanna see how to contract it, your chest. I'm kinda like a little thin right here. This time kind of the way I'm built, all my mass is right here on my chest. And then it kinda thins out around here. So I kinda, I know how to kinda contract that and I can work on that when I'm doing flies to try and get that hit this portion where I'm lacking. So that's kind of how you can figure things out if you're not sure, or if you see a lacking muscle or body part, you can put your hand on it, your lat. Lats are a tricky one too, 
when you're trying to get that lower part of that lat to develop, you can kind of feel it. You can find those angles and then you can choose an exercise where you're going to be contracting at that angle. So shoulders are pretty basic. At this point, I kind of have like a training guide that I follow for every body part and I can switch up the exercises, but it's the same guide. So every workout follows the same thing. So shoulders are pretty basic, like I said, side delt, rear delt. Since I do heavy benching and heavy chest movements, I don't want to hit my front delt because if you're hitting that front delt and doing heavy overhead press, you're kind of leaving yourself uh, susceptible to injury. I hope I used that word correctly. Back day, it's the same thing. I got my back guide. Arm day, pretty much have an arm day guide too. Chest day, chest day guide. I kind of got a guide for everything. Legs, you just got to keep it simple. My last leg day, I kind of did Tom Platt style. I was kind of afraid of the back squat, so I went light, but I still got a great leg workout, leg pump. That's like the most basic things. Like you gotta have some sort of leg press or squatting motion. You gotta have, you know, a leg extension, a leg curl and some calves. So it's all pretty basic. You just gotta follow simple workouts, find that guide. And I kind of go over my guide for my videos or I will going forward and you'll see your results with the, the basics. You don't have to overcomplicate anything. Basic is better. You just got to progress over time in some way or another. So I'm going to hit delts. decided to superset. I feel that when I superset, you know, something targeting side delt with rear delt, whatever the second movement is, I always get like a crazy contraction and even crazier mind muscle connection than normal. So I'm gonna do another superset. I decided I wanna do some uh, dumbbell rear delt flies. I think I'm actually gonna do that second. But first I'm gonna do cable single arm side raises and I'm gonna start with that. And then once I go to the dumbbell after those cable side raises, I already have that, that burn, that pump going. It'll be an even crazier burn and pump for the rear delts on those dumbbell flies. So gonna hit that next. I did four sets by the way too. I'm doing four sets of everything.
ended up doing a triple drop set at the end of each of those exercises with a super set. So I did, uh, I had three fives on each side for the lateral raise, and then I pulled a five, pulled a five, each drop down to where there's just one five on each side for that last set, last drop. And then for the rear delts, I did 30s, 20s, 10s, and I was aiming to get at least five more reps every time, every drop. So the last drop, I did the 10s for 20 reps. It burned a lot. I couldn't even get full range of motion on like the last 10 because just so pumped. But now I'm on to the last super set. I'm gonna do cable rear delt flies and dumbbell side lateral raises, but in the opposite order, I keep saying them backwards. So I'm gonna start with dumbbell and then I'm gonna go to the cable rear delt flies. And this will probably be it, probably just four sets again and last set almost likely drop set again. <sighs> 